after a great start to the season, the Cats have certainly come back to the field, losing home games against Melbourne, the Swans and North Melbourne to really put themselves in the hot seat. Essendon, although having won six out of nine, struggled against Hawthorne and made a slow start against Melbourne last week before running out the winners by 34 points. Last year, the two sides met twice, with victory going to the Bombers by 40 points at Cadinia Park in round 11 and by 11 points at Windy Hill in round 21. The Cats, with five wins, were just outside the five on percentage and had to win or face quite a slide down the Premiership table. We pick up the game at half time and there's very little difference between the sides. The Cats leading by the narrow margin of eight points. Our commentator at the game is former champion Collingwood full forward Peter McKenna. The start of the third quarter here at Windy Hill, Geelong with the slight lead, 7-6-48 to Essendon 5-10-40. A very low standard first half of this match, but it's still interesting because of the tightness of the game as Bahaja gets it down towards full forward Malaki. Oh, they've got Danaher at full forward now. He ducks away and steps at the goal. And Terry Danaher has put it through. A great goal to the Bombers skipper straight after half time. Essendon move on to 6 10, 46. Geelong 7 6, 48. Well, an interesting move. We saw Vanderhaar playing a full forward against Malaki in the first half. Malaki well on top of Paul Vanderhaar. At the moment, Vanderhaar is playing at centre half forward. Terry Danaher has moved to full forward, and at the moment, two points the difference. Bahaja again gets the ball out of the centre. Up towards half forward, the ball is punched away. It's grabbed by Danaher again. Onto the left foot, he fires at the goals. It's bouncing in. Through for one behind. So a great start by the Bombers in this quarter. They are now only one point behind Geelong. Geelong 7-6. Essendon 6 goals 11. Bernard Tui. A long kick towards half-back. Flanagan played very, very well when he went on the ball. Mossop seems to be carrying an injury. The hand pass from Merritt out to Watway up towards full forward. Danaher is there again. Over the back of the pack. Danaher charges after it again. It's on that... Last line of defence, the umpires pick out a free kick and will go to Mark Yates. Yates, got a big job playing on Vanderhaar, he kicks towards centre wing. Oh, he had his name written all over that, Simon Madden, as he marks at half forward flank. Madden centres the ball, looking for the leaders over the back of the pack. In goes Frank Dunnell, he's got the ball, he knocks it on further afield, taken away by Malaki. Malaki out to Whitcomb, the ball doesn't sit for him, and it rolls over the line and out of bounds. Malaki has been a great player in that last line of defence. He, as I said, he picked up Vanderhaar, he was on top of him, and now they've switched Terry Danaher to full forward. There's Madden they're trying to get it out. It's taken away by Bruce Dan Curvis, who was tackled high. Play on now, said the umpire, Bahaja. Flanagan, who's been a great player for Geelong, onto the left foot towards centre wing. Players charge after the ball. In goes Damien Drum. A long hand pass. And well, what it was for, I've got no idea, as Drum charged his way through the pack, but it looks like it will go Essendon's way for some reason. Let's see who the player is. It looks like Watson, who's probably been Essendon's best player today. He's gone up towards Bahaja. Was it a free kick in the meantime? No, it's a mark, said the umpire. And Tony Bahaja marks 35 metres out from goal, 45 degree angle. He has scored one goal so far for the Bombers. If he kicks this one, they will go five points in front. The drop punt from Bahaja, the goal umpire moves across and says offline, Tony Bahaja for one behind. So scores are dead set level. We've been playing about three and a half to four minutes into this third quarter. Malaki, a little chip shot from full back and he finds Dennis Lenahan. He streams away onto the left foot and kicks towards the wing. Ducking back was Damien Drum. Couldn't take the mark. All oh, players charge in after it. That on the bottom of the pack was Ray Card. Umpire Peter Cameron says it's my ball and he'll bounce it halfway between half back flank for Geelong and centre wing. Madden and Flanagan. Flanagan actually got it down. Watson, that must be kick number 14. Could have been a free kick to Essendon. Ian Ann Curvis charges after it. He's got it. Caught for the ball. Play on, said the umpire. Heard. Ridden into the ground. It's taken by Terry Danaher. Hurries the kick towards the goals, but it actually dribbled off his boot over the line and out of bounds on the full. Malaki 